This happened two nights ago on stream. I was doing my thing. I got home uh, from performing. My back was hurt. I was like, I'm gonna take some ibuprofen. I took some ibuprofen and then I started feeling kind of funky. Uh, well, I started to kind of not sweat, but like proverbially sweat. I was like, oh my gosh, what did I take? I was so confused and I was like, you know what? I bet that ibuprofen bottle was from when I was visiting my parents. I was like, I wonder if my mom switched medication and she just like had like some of her personal medication in, 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 uh, in an ibuprofen bottle. Maybe, maybe it's because it's a small bottle, maybe it's convenient. I was like, oh my gosh, I hope I didn't take something that I'm not prescribed. I hope I didn't take something that's gonna hurt me or make me loopy. I don't know, you never know. So I started, so I was like, oh my gosh. And finally, I was like, all right, I'm gonna go check. I'm gonna check the bottle. I checked the bottle, I was like, yeah, it says ibuprofen. I was like, oh, what's going on here? And, I, and then I remember, I was like, oh, the, the pills were blue. Ibuprofen is always red. Ibuprofen is always red. I took blue pills. And you always, you don't wanna take the blue pill. You wanna take the red pill, if you know what I mean. Uh, that's another subject. <clears throat> we'll get to that in a minute, actually, with Twitter. Um, it started sweating. I was like, I took a blue pill. I took not just one blue pill, I took three blue pills. That's 600 milligrams. That's 600 milligrams of I don't know what. I read the bottle more closely. It was ibuprofen PM. It was to help you sleep. It's ibuprofen with some other crap in it to help you go honka chewing, go into sleep pill. So I was like, okay, well, at least I didn't take some hunky dory crazy Xanax. I don't know what it was. Uh, glad to find that out. However, I was loopy the whole, I'm not loopy, but like I couldn't, I couldn't focus. I was like dizzy, like I could play league and I wasn't, I was actually doing really well that night, actually, funny enough. So maybe that's, maybe that's the cure to not being miserable at League of Legends. Maybe the cure to League of Legends is nighttime ibuprofen, is sleep aid. <laughs> it's the cure to tilt. I found the cure to tilt is nighttime ibuprofen, is sleep aid. Just, just be tired while you're playing League. Be miserably tired like you're gonna fall asleep and then play League, see, see if that helps you. My other story, uh, I went to a restaurant where they throw food at you. That's not just clickbait. That actually happened two nights ago. Last night? Last night. I guess that was last night. The whole cast, my whole cast, it's like a, it's like a yearly thing. First of all, we, instead of just like going, the entire cast, going to some restaurant, you know, I don't know, 5, 10, 15 minutes away, we decide at, we're going to drive 40 minutes away to a restaurant that closes at 9 p.m. We were all leaving at like 8.30 or 8 at the soon, at the, at the earliest. So I was like, why are we going 40 minutes? We're gonna get there like right at closing. This is so stupid. Well, I found out why, okay? This place called Lambert's. Now it's con con uh, country home cooking. So it's like, you know, everything's fried and mashed potatoes and blah, 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 and mashed taters, I guess is how they would call it. So we got, we, we went to Lambert's. Everything is like big. Everything is so, t it was, it was, it was great. They have these like, like, you don't just get like a glass. You get like a glass that like a mug, like a plastic mug. That's like this, like this tall and super fat. And you order a meal and they bring out, they're just, they just keep bringing out buckets of food. So no matter what you get, you still are going to get a, a bunch of sides. Like, I don't like okra, but okra and fried potatoes and black eyed peas, all sorts of whatever country home, country home cooking thing you can think of. So it was pretty good, but they came out with the rolls and they just started chucking them and they started, you know what I mean? They just started landing all around. I started drop, I dropped like two rolls on the ground, but it was like, oh, and you gotta catch the rolls. Like, oh. Finally, I caught one. Man, it was good. The rolls were good. They had like this molasses that you put on the roll. Oh my gosh, it was good. So it was a fun time. It was a fun time. Definitely recommend if you're ever, uh, it's called Lambert's. So that was good. Um, the, the final item that I have written down here, Twitter. I'm now going to use Twitter. <laughs> uh, I've been off it because screw all social media. They're all, they're all ran by a bunch of Honky donks, you know what I mean. And Twitter has been taken over by Musk. Now, I was reading some headlines. I guess he's gotta pay, like the three people that were kinda like the head honchos at Twitter, he's gotta pay them out basically. There's something called like parachute funds. 
So they, they owned stock, the three heads prior to Musk. Uh, they owned stock in the company, and so he had to like buy all their stock, and he has to basically buy them out for like a year and buy all of their stock. And so he's got to pay what that stock probably would have made, what that stock would have increased to. The, any financial gain you would have got by owning stock, he's got to pay that to um, the, the three people he just fired. The three CEOs, if you want to call them that, or what, CFOs. Um, so he's got to pay a bunch of money. It just doesn't matter. He's got, he's fine. <laughs> but uh, it's good news. It's good news. Talking about Red Pill earlier. It's good news that someone who is against censorship is in control of that platform. And now I'll use it. Didn't really care about it before. And it's just like a degenerate. But like now, now... People can, people can freaking talk again. So that's really good. Uh, I'm excited to hear about that. Uh, we'll see how it goes, especially that Parag guy. I saw, a, I saw a YouTube video, Jordan Peterson did a piece on ref, uh, uh, addressing, what's that, there was, there's three names. Let me pull them up here. Uh, it was Parag Agrawal, um, and his, his piece addressed him directly, and it was like, like, come on, man, you can't just, shut everyone down because you don't like what they're saying. And I really liked it. It was like a 10, 15 minute piece. Uh, you could, if you just search YouTube for Jordan Peterson, Pereg Agrawal, you'll find it. And he just, yo, he, d he does not care. Dude, I like that man. He does not, he is so, he's, I like how frank he is when he addressed them. Uh, He's got kind of, his words are poignant. And they're truthful words, but they're, and they're poignant. And he spared nothing. He went after this Parag guy. So that was, uh, that was pretty cool. I was very happy by that. But now, Parag is gone. And along with the other three, they, they were ousted. To quote Fox News, they were ousted. Uh, they've been, <laughs> or was that the term they used? Uh, Brian Steltler's, yeah, anyone from CNN. I don't know. I don't know much about him, but anyways, so the world's good as far as I'm concerned. On top of all this news, as far as me personally, I got offered, um, not necessarily the position, but the potential position of, uh, Basically reading a script for a bigger role than I'm in right now, a very big, a bit, it's like taking a giant leap. So that was really exciting. I was speaking to the creative director of uh, a company I work for and he was like, he asked me two questions. He was like, are you interested in doing this? And I was like, no, <laughs> I had already done it in my career. I'm done with that. I don't want to do it here. I told him no. And then he was like, well, are you interested in this? And he talked about this bigger role and I was like, yes. It's funny you ask that, but yes, I am interested in that. So life's good, man. Twitter's in the hands of someone who's not a complete degenerate. Uh, the career's good. Um, now it's time to stream and have some silly goose times. Have some friends getting on later. Um, I've got some pizza in the oven. I mean, everything is just, the power's gonna go out now, the, the Wi-Fi is gonna be crappy. <laughs> but um, I'm ready to play some League. Uh, I'm gonna get on Discord and we're gonna start, uh, we're gonna start gaming. We're gonna start having a silly goose time, uh, hopefully dominating. We've been doing really well. We've been doing really well recently and um, it's been fun. I, uh, I, I don't know if it's because I'm just not taking it as seriously. I don't know if it's because I'm, uh, you know, just having fun. I think that's part of it. It's just having fun. I like Akali. She's more reliable than Katarina. And more reliable than Katarina. Uh, I, I prefer Katarina's play style for whatever reason. I think Akali's still fun. Not that she's not fun, but Katarina's just so much fun. She's so satisfying. Hey guys, here are some kill montages from my stream where I was wrecking shop. 
To hear me talk about silly things like accidentally taking sleeping pills or to see me kill people like that, oh, and smack them around like that and stabby stab, kill, 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 another kill, another kill, another kill, another kill, another kill, uh, you get the idea. Please stop by the stream to have a silly goose time with us. I enjoy very much chatting with you all. Okay, bye. Uh. Uh. Uh.